What's up guys, Maza here with the Idiot's Guide to Accurate No Scoping. Um, in this guide, I'm going to be explaining three different techniques to no scoping, along with the mechanics of the crosshair reset, which is uh, why these no scoping techniques work so well. Our first technique is called the G-Shot, or the Nudge, uh, depending on who you hear it from. This is definitely the most famous technique, and uh, you'll see it in a lot of montages. What you do is you either strafe or move, and you can shoot before or after you move. It doesn't matter. See right there, I shot before I moved. And uh, I think I get it on the third shot right here. Bam. It's really accurate. It can go really, really long range. Uh, it was made famous by ZZIR Grizz in his tutorial video. And uh, yeah, it just works really well. Uh, um, it's a little different in World at War. What you do in World of War is, with the Springfield, you need to make sure you shoot after you move. When the crosshairs are coming back in after you move, that's when you shoot. So you just move backwards, wait till they come back in, bam, shoot. Uh, we played World of War a lot with this, and we ended up calling it the nudge from that, because what you do is you just nudge backwards, and then shoot. And it's guaranteed to go down the middle with the Springfield. Uh, it's pretty deadly even from long range but it seems to only work for the Springfield and for some reason it works better when you move back rather than the other direction see right there though you can also do it strafing left or right so there's really there's no limit to what you can do with it um, second technique is called the YY shot this one's used a lot in montages too uh, you either hit YY or triangle triangle depending on what console you're using. Me, I'm an Xbox fanboy, so it's YY for me. But uh, I don't really recommend this one. It's good for just if you really need to land a no scope, if you're caught up or something, if someone's rushing you, you can try this one and it'll, it'll usually help. But I wouldn't recommend it for long range shots. It's, it's not as accurate and it's a lot harder to do the timing right. For timing, you need to make sure that you shoot right when the crosshairs reappear, and that counts as the idea of a crosshair reset. The whole mechanic behind the crosshair reset is that uh, there's a certain point when you can shoot and it will always go down the center. Our third technique is called the half scope or the twitch. Um, I've seen this in a couple of videos. It looks really goofy because it makes you look like you're just on crack or you have Parkinson's because uh, your scope goes all crazy. There's one first try. It's basically like you scope halfway in and then you shoot. You just have your left trigger and then uh, throw a shot. For all these different shots though you need to make sure that your target is in direct center of your screen and you can do that by uh, lining up the crosshairs first or just uh, doing a quick look and making sure that they're lined up with both crosshairs. Uh, this is really deadly with the Car 98 on World at War. Watch this. Second try right here from across the map on airfield. Boom. And you just twitch it around. And uh, I think this one's pretty good too, let's see. It's a funny looking shot, but man, it really works with that gun. Uh, for jump shots, uh, you can get your crosshair reset in two different places. At the peak of your jump, when you're starting to fall, that counts as a crosshair reset. If you shoot at the peak of your jump, it will go down the center. And you can see that on this clip right here. Bam, collateral on vacant. First try. Um, it'll always go down the center if you shoot at the peak of your jump. Right there though, you can also shoot right when you land and your crosshairs are coming to starting to come back. And uh, this is across the map on airfield. Right when the crosshairs come back, he just shoots and goes right down the middle. For spin shots, uh, I recommend these if you're making montages and stuff. People love these, uh, just different trick shots. Uh, you need to throw your sensitivity as high as you can. Uh, I roll 10 and so does Fuzza, but I guess you could go 8 or 9 too find your target, you find something that you're going to jump off of, jump 360, stop, and then shoot. You need to shoot right when you see your target. And uh, make sure you shoot in the air. Nobody likes a montage where you spin, and then you land, and then you shoot. Because that would just look dumb. Make sure you're shooting in the air, right when you get on your target. Bam, 360 with the car 98. Uh, thanks for watching, and comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.